you had a touchdown catch during the red zone session and I think like a 27-yarder during the open session. Uh, what does that do for you to have have plays like that in a big scrimmage moment? Yeah, it gives, you, uh, it gives you a lot of confidence. You know, I give a lot of credit to the coaches and the, the offensive line for giving the quarterback protection and the good balls that the quarterback have uh, given me. And, you know, um, all the continuity, like I said, and the you know chemistry that we've gotten throughout these 15, 14 practices has really helped a lot. And it looked like you had a, uh, a stuff on, I think it was a two-point play here in the red zone mm -hmm. session. Was that usual? Okay. Just um, what does it mean to come out here on a spring day and be able to make plays like that kind of, you know, prove yourself among your teammates? It's it's great to do that, especially with all the young guys out here, all incoming freshmen. It kind of gives them an idea of the attitude and the uh, intensity that we're trying to produce out here and trying to make sure that no one scores in our end zone when we're down there. Um, is there is there a specific goal or something you had in mind when you came out here today that you wanted to accomplish? Make plays, run fast, hit hard, make plays. That's a linebacker motto, and that's what we live by. So I imagine you're pretty pleased with how everything went today. Then. Yep. We had hiccups that we can get much better at. We can look at film, correct it, and come out and fix that. But I, overall, I think we did pretty well today. Your coaches talked a lot about the attitude of the team that they're trying to instill. And then just with the success you guys had last fall, carrying over into the spring, just, is there a different mood about the team this year? And what, what is it? We were, we we're excited about 6-5, and five, but to us, that's not good enough. We're looking to get a PFL championship. We're looking to go undefeated. We're not looking to just make it past 500. So our biggest thing is to show the league that we're not at the bottom of the leaderboard like they think we are. How today went? Yeah, uh, I mean it was great. N number one, just from an injury standpoint, uh, that's that's the biggest c concern. And, and Griffin Norberg uh, bruised his knee. I don't think it's it's that bad. Uh, there's a reason why they've changed the NCAA uniform requirements to to get the knee pads lowered. Uh, and I think his is a prime example. He has his knee pads high. Uh, it's kind of the stylish look, but it's from a safety standpoint, it's not great. And uh, our uniforms have to be changed for the, the coming year because the NCAA is requiring the knee to be fully covered up by the pad. And that would have helped save Griffin had that uh, had we had that rule into uh, enforcement today. But uh, but overall, it was it was a good uh, a good day. Uh, I think the defense certainly stepped up. Uh, they earned a hard fought victory, two to one. Uh, they stepped up and made plays. They got some turnovers, some some uh, uh, outstanding fourth down stops. They, they really were a physical presence. And they just brought an emotional intensity with them today and, uh, and, and certainly got the best of the offense. There were some great things that the offense was doing as well, some outstanding performers. Uh, uh, I think certainly Ryan Markoff is someone who, who stands out. And, and Ryan is he's in a tough situation. He's playing quarterback and he's playing wide receiver and he's a freshman who redshirted. So uh, he's really not quite comfortable at either position, uh, but he knows that this is his best opportunity to get on the field with Jimmy Seawald coming back as our quarterback. And, and uh, he knows that there can be a role for him somewhere within our offense. And I think everybody saw he has the ability uh, to do many, many things for us uh, this, this coming season. So he's still getting used to it, getting learned how to line up and, and do all the little things right. Uh, but, but he stepped up and made plays both as a runner and a thrower and a receiver. You had some starters out. Were there any deaf guys that, or depth guys that showed up or that impressed you today? Yeah, well, I think another guy on, on the defensive side, uh, Isaac Velasco is, is a defensive lineman who redshirted. He really did an outstanding job. You know, when you play those interior line positions, nose or defensive tackle, um, they're, it's kind of the offensive line of the defense. You don't get recognized that often, but you are more disruptive than you are prolific with your statistics. And, and you know, he did an outstanding job of penetrating and, and uh, fighting off double teams and uh, really made it difficult when he was in the game. Uh, and, and that's great to see because, again, he's another guy who, who hasn't uh, uh, played a down for us yet in a game, and, and uh, it, it was great to see him step up as well. The linebacking core, just you've got a lot of guys in there. I mean, who, I mean Nick Turner is one that yeah. stands out. Just what do you think about that group? Yeah, I mean, that's uh, the heart and soul of our defense right now. I mean, they are uh, incredible. Uh, it's, a, it's a unique combination. There's uh, four guys who played an awful lot of football for us all outstanding leaders and all of them just they lead with their actions first but they are also very vocal and I think on days like today uh, not just their production on the field because obviously Drew Snoffer wasn't even suited up to, to be out there but but they really 
drove that defense and, and willed them to have success. And it feels like it's been a while since you've been able to sit here at Spring Ball and say these guys have played an awful lot of football for sure. us. But sure. what has, and we talked briefly about this yesterday, but how has the experience level shown out through these first 13, 14 practices? Well, it, it's been great from the, the fact that we've been able to execute uh, to the highest degree, particularly on defense. I mean, this is, this is our best level of execution in terms of just our fronts and our blitzes and our coverages, our stunts. Uh, we do an outstanding job where, uh, because we've had a lot of players who've been through it and they understand the scheme. And, and so you're enabled to, as offensive and defensive coordinators, you can put more of your scheme in. You only have 15 practices and one of those includes today's spring game. So it's not a lot of time to put your entire offensive or defensive playbook in if you want to be able to uh, effectively go out and execute it to the level that you're hoping to, to do so. And, and uh, we've been able to put more schemes in uh, you know, on the defensive side of the ball and on the offensive side of the ball and be able to go out and execute it. Now, I think today offensively our level of execution on offense was not as high as it could have been. Um, you know, some of that we did have some young players that, that were making some mental mistakes. Some of it's, you know, guys like Ryan Markoff who were moving over to different positions. And so there were some sub substitution issues about who was playing where and what. And and uh, so I was not pleased with that. Um, but uh, but overall, it's it's been a great spring from uh, just being able to put as much as we put in uh, in any of the five springs that I've been here. Um, with Gessinger was a, a big return for you guys last season, mm -hmm. and with the few receivers out, it looked like he got more playing time at receiver today. So, yes. is there something about his game that looks better this spring than maybe? Yeah, no, I, I would say he is one of the more improved offensive players. Uh, mm -hmm. He stepped up. Of course, he caught uh, some passes for us this past year, mm -hmm. but, but basically was our third team uh, slot receiver mm -hmm. for the majority of the year. Uh, but he really has stepped up, and, and he's made big plays uh, all throughout the spring. Uh, and I think he's improved. He's really comfortable running the offense, but I think his hands uh, have really uh, gotten better. He stepped up and made some big-time catches. Obviously, the touchdown, uh, the first play in our red zone scrimmage was, was a great play. So uh, he really is stepping up, and, and uh, if he continues to improve, he's going to have a big role in our offense this coming fall.